Nutsedge has long been one of the most difficult to control weeds. It's often misunderstood and progress in controlling it has been slow. Nutsedge is often referred to nutgrass, although it's neither a grass nor is it a nut, and it's very different from both. It is a monocot like grasses, but is in the sedge family. The nut refers to the below ground tubers, which are not nuts, but have nutritional value and are sometimes eaten in famine stricken areas of Africa. There are more than 5,000 separate species of sedges that exist worldwide. Some of the most widely known sedges are water, chestnut, and papyrus sedge, which was used to make ancient writing material. Sedges are easily distinguished from grasses by their solid triangular flower stems. Sedges are almost all perennials, while grasses, which have round stems, are most frequently annuals. It has been called the world's worst weed because it can be found in every continent and in every state. The two sedges that are a problem here are purple nut sedge and yellow nut sedge. While both are here, purple probably accounts for 75 to 80 percent. They are not hard to identify, but people sometimes have trouble distinguishing them. They are both perennials and grow vegetatively from tubers and rhizomes. They spread so rapidly and are so prolific that people are often surprised that less than 5 percent of the seed they produce is viable. The leaves do not have ligules or oracles and have a ridge along the mid vein. The leaves of purple are blunt and less pointed than are yellow. As expected, the seed heads of purple are purple in color and yellow are yellow. The tubers of purple are much larger than the, those of yellow nut sedge. They are irregular shaped, connected by chains, bitter in taste, and have a distinctive almond odor. Yellow nutlets are small, round, not connected, and have a more sweet taste. Nutsedge is one of those weeds that gets worse every year because of the absence of a highly effective herbicide and because cultivation spreads it. Remember that the seeds are not viable and the only way that they, this weed spreads significant distances is mechanically. Soil movement should be minimized as much as possible or nutsedge is a problem. This is contrary to the belief that repeatedly bringing the nutlets to the surface to desiccate them will control it. Many techniques have been used to try to control it over the years, ranging from hand pulling to soil fumigants. Almost all herbicides have activity on this, that have activity on this weed are only partially effective and require multiple applications over multiple years. It is necessary to control the below ground nutlets and rhizomes and they can persist for many years and continually put out new growth. Nutsedge is so prolific that if a herbicide is not highly effective, the infestation is back to where you started one year later. Several herbicides have nutsedge on the label and range in control from 20 to 90 percent. Twenty of these herbicides are contained in a table that is included with the online article. Thank you very much.